How do you set timeouts with Spring REST template? I'm going to show you the code. So here's what you do. You're going to open the movie catalog service application. So this is the place where we are creating a REST template, right? So we want to have this have a timeout. Notice that the movie catalog application is what's calling two services, right? So we want to make that have timeouts. So any service that calls another service can have a timeout. So in this architectural diagram, the movie info service can also have a REST template with a timeout because the movie info service is calling the external movie DB service, right? So any service which calls an external service using REST template, you can do this technique. You can apply this technique to have the to have the request timeout, right? So here's our um, REST template for the movie catalog service. Right now we are making this a spring bean so that you have one instance of the REST template which is used by no matter how many other controllers, how many other resources need it. And it is just a simple constructor returning a new REST template. But it turns out the REST template constructor takes in an argument where you can set the timeout. So this is how it works. You first, I'm gonna remove that, you create an instance of this class here, HTTP components client HTTP request factory. As with any other Spring Bean name, it has to be long enough for it to be useful. All right, so you have this um, class. I'm gonna create a new instance of this class, right? So this class is what lets you create a timeout property and pass it to the HTTP client. So once I create this class, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to call a property on it Factory dot, you see here you have a set connect timeout, right? I'm gonna set a connection timeout of uh, three seconds, which is 3000 milliseconds. And now that I've done this, I take this instance and give it as an argument to the HTTP uh, client constructor, which we already, sorry, the REST template constructor, which we already have. So I'm gonna create a new REST template and uh, I'm gonna pass this as an argument to it, right? So if I do this, the REST template that I'm gonna get now is going to have the property of three seconds set as the timeout. So anytime you're gonna make a call with this particular REST template, as long as the response comes back within three seconds, it's all good. If it doesn't get back within three seconds, it's gonna, it's gonna throw an error, all right? So does this solve the problem? What do you guys think? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a five minute break now. And uh, in the meantime, while you're in your break, think about the solution that we did. We learned about the threads, we learned about timeouts. Does timeout solve the problem?